This is Bobby for my saddle hunt. Thanks for tuning back in, man. I got an awesome video today. I'm gonna show you guys how to lone stick. One stick up the tree and then attach your fix. A five pound mobile setup. I had the drone for a secondary angle. Hey, I wanna take a quick second. Anyone around the Michigan area, Saturday, July 9th, I'm hosting a saddle meetup and saddle up here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. It'll be from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The event is on the at I Saddle Hunt Facebook page. Tune in there and check it out, man. Hope to see you guys. It's a free event. There'll be vendors, mobile companies, companies sending up stuff for you guys to come in and try out. And I'm gonna have a free giveaway. Everybody that attends, we get a raffle ticket. It's a free event. Some every if you if you show up, man, hopefully you'll go home with something. So, uh, but back to the video. Today's the lone wolf, lone sticking one sticking video with the 14 inch double step. I got my custom three step Amsteel Aider from the Amsteel guy, and then I'm gonna use the USA Light, the XL for my fix, and the USA Light for my uh, 14 inch double, and that's what I'm gonna use. A completely metalless attachment method get up the tree so without further to do let's get going let's go So I just wanted to show you something that before I even attach my stick to the tree one time, I get connected. I'm not using a lineman belt. I have a spare tether that I have on me with a JRB, a center hitch tied onto it. Um, that hitch will break under load for an emergency scenario and I find it more safe and comfortable be, to be connected actually with a tether versus just a lineman belt throughout my climb. So let's get to it. Okay, this is how I get set up for my initial climb. So I'm all tethered in, locked in, my JRB ascender hitch, got my fix on my back, and then sometimes I'll take my beaner and my quick link and just click them together while I climb. All right, let's get going. So we're here. I'll bring my slack out a little bit more. Now that I'm at my first set is when I'll take my quick link, mad rock, Lock that in. Now here, 
I'm gonna clip in prior to So I clipped in first. Double check, make sure everything's set. Now I can unclip my beaner. There we go. Once again, pull slack out your line. All right. So I take my tether. Put that up in case I have any branches or anything like that I need to go around. Okay, so from here, I usually bring my beaner down to about my sternum. So I bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit into my saddle like that. Now, I don't wrap my legs around the tree. I wrap my right leg and my right hand around the tree. Now we should be able to get the drone. We should be able to catch it on the drone angle. Bring it to the left. Yep, right there. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna come down, spin around. See how I pop my boot under here? So I pop it. Bring it up, come around. Now I pass the stick and the rope around itself. Here we go there, click it on. Take my tender. And bring it up. There we go. I'll brace off to the side. Looks like my... That is one thing about this. This tether has Prusix for adjustable steps. And sometimes these steps will slide down during the climb. That's just my aider. The ultimator would definitely answer that question. Always lock it in. Yeah, so we keep coming up. I move my tether up with each step to minimize slack. Tether up with every step. So now if I was here, that I've made my second move, I would probably make one more if I was actually gonna be hunting, but from here, I would come out with my fix, so. Give you guys a little view. I'm coming off with it. Pulling down, around. Now, I like to set my platform up just a little bit higher than where I'm planning on hunting. So, if I'm here, there's my last stick. I'm going to set up about there. All right. I'm going to just bust this little branch out of the way. I think that's messing up the view. All right, guys, there we go. 
So I'm here. I'm gonna slide my Swabish itch back a little bit. I come under and behind. Under and behind. Now come here. Through your Swabish hitch. Come back. Tighten. Tighten it. Come back. Under. Under. And around. Right here. Tighten her up. I like to tie two half hitches just for my own personal preference. That thing is on. All right, let's get up to the top. So I'm stepping off, moving my tether up. I like to say about forehead height. But there we go. That's how I would set up my lone wolf, lone stick it up with my fix. Let's bring up the bow. We got the other angle going. Alrighty, man. Hope you guys like today's video. The lone sticking, the lone wolf custom gear mobile setup. So here we go. I just want to show you guys again. I don't even have backpack straps on it. I am literally using my attachment. Gonna be over my shoulder like that, and I am done. So once again, man, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I got more content coming down the pipeline. It'll be coming soon. If you guys enjoyed today's video. Drop down, maybe hit that thumbs up, and then hit that subscribe button, man. Again, this is Bobby from I Saddle Hunt. I truly appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys turning in, and hope to see you at the saddle event, or the Lone Wolf uh, Custom Gear Road Show, or the Mobile Hunters Expo. I'll be at all three of them in July. Uh, July will be a busy month. So, once again, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, man.